We're live. <laughs> oh, where's my tablet? I was wondering where you were gonna sit. Cause like on your lives, you're always at your sewing machine. Yeah, so I have like my computer, but it's like not pretty over there. <laughs> this is pretty. Okay, so we are live streaming across the So Magical platforms and Brittany from the Imperiums YouTube as well um, for a wine and chat plus teacher spotlight. Um, so if you don't know who I am because you're watching from Brittany's channel, hello, <laughs> I'm, I'm Kayla from So Magical Expo. And Brittany is one of our teachers. Well, technically, if people don't know now, Brittany... Wow is one of my employees as well. I feel like a lot of people don't know. <laughs> they should, because if they email, it's either you or Alex answering yeah. the emails, really. So um, if you're getting replies back, it's probably from Alex or Brittany. Um, so um, welcome, everybody. Brittany on. Um, Hi. <laughs> I can tell who's like on your YouTube channel versus mine because of the little membership thing. And um, I can't, yeah, <laughs> I got to kick out of when Lauren's like when when we did the live with Lauren and her little membership emojis popped up. Um, but yours are funny, too. Um, yeah. Rainbow cat. <laughs> donut cat. Pride. I love your pride. Um, <laughs> emojis are so cute. Oh, and then we can't forget George. Yeah. We don't know who George is. There's George and there's Purse George. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like one I had him drawn um so the artist I used that drew like original George, I had her draw him like popping out of an Annette handbag. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, that's purse George. Okay. Um what are you drinking? I already know I can see it. But <laughs> the infamous the, monster. They just need to sponsor me. They really should sponsor you. I, you and Kira, both. Yeah, and water from my new pink Starbucks cup. Oh. <laughs> I have, I don't remember what I poured. Um, <laughs> Bacardi and C4. So I'm energy drinking with oh, you. because I got to three o'clock and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to make it to six. <laughs> so we I was like trying to quit drinking pop. But then I was like, okay, well, I have to have like an evening monster. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's it's bad too cuz now I know I'm going to be up until 1 in the morning, but it's okay. I have a lot of crap to get done, so. I feel that. <laughs> Everybody saying hi. Hello. Oh, Alex says hi to my favorite coworker and boss. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren said two of my best friends in one video. What a good live. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, so while we're waiting for people to say what they're drinking on, um we're going to do a teacher spotlight and I'm going to do like a couple quick SME update stuff. Yeah. And can ask questions. Um, whether you're from Brittany's channel or one of the SME channels, there's a lot going on in the next month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> in like two months, really. I'm, it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm not even going to one of the SME things, but there's still so much going on. <laughs> are you not going to So Whatever Weekend? Yeah, you are. I'm not going to NOLA. Oh, oh, okay. No, oh, that's right. You're not going yeah. to one of them out of the yeah. Thing. Yeah, Alex isn't either. And Alex, like, I can be bribed to go. <laughs> like, I, I to go. if if I had the funds, I'd be like, yeah, let's go. But also, I think like my family might be upset because <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to go to North Carolina next weekend too. <laughs> yeah, and then. Yeah, because then the cruise is right after it. You're not yeah. bringing your family to that one. And then yeah. you'll be in St. Louis, or near, well, in Illinois, right after Yeah, that. And the weekend between the cruise and so whatever weekend, I have a show. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, going to be interesting. <laughs> it's going to be a great spring. <laughs> yeah. May's um, going to be kind of hectic. Yeah. But I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a lot, but it's going to be fun. Um, Alex is still sick. Poor thing. Yeah, I know. Alex sent me a voice message. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh that does not sound good. <laughs> I, I have another person that's not feeling hot either. Yeah, I saw Runes. 
Um, okay, what else? What else? Oh, we've got water from Matt and Brittany. Oh, and um, quick reminder, if you're watching from Facebook uh, and we can't see your lovely face or name, you just click the link that says streamyard.com slash Facebook and it gives them permission. If you don't want to do that, just tag your name at the end so I know who we're chatting with. Oh, okay. So I thought we were bad with the energy drinks, but here comes Glenn over here drinking coffee. <laughs> it's like Alex right now. Oh, and Mama Smee's drinking wine. Oh, Diet Coke. Chai latte. That sounds good, though. Yeah, Dente yeah. Awesome. iced coffee. Wow, there's a lot of coffee drinkers in the late day. <laughs> <laughs> Six o'clock. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> That's impressive. Okay. Um. Wait, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no. Um, I was going to say, I have never had the cold foam from Dunkin'. <laughs> that sounds good, though. Caramel I used coffee. to always go to Dunkin', and then I tried a pumpkin cream cold brew, and I don't think I've had Dunkin' coffee again since then. And I'm addicted to earning stars to get free cups now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got a free cup? If you get 400 stars, you get... Well, okay, so you get $20 worth. So I only had to pay $3 for this. Only. Because the stars were free. 400 stars, though? Yeah. How much Starbucks do you drink if you got I actually stars? don't go very often, but when they do, like, bonus things, I get bonus stars. Okay, okay, fair. And sometimes when we're looking for a certain cup and you go buy, like, four of them and ship them across the country, you get the stars for this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I would assume. You would assume? Yeah, because that's <laughs> never happened to you. Never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Judy, yeah, we can see your name now. Oh, Marcia. Uh, yeah, I love this shirt. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Is it from Tea Turtle? Yeah, I got it at Dragon Con, I think. And I was like, oh my god, I need it. I need a couple more, though. I just saw they're going to be at um, Origins in Columbus, and then I was like, can I do that event? And I was like, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> when is it? I think it's like the end of June. <laughs> I just need not you just go from there into Tennessee and you'd be fine. Oh my god, that's right. It's like the weekend before that. <laughs> That'd be a lot. Well, Columbus, I think, might be on the way to Tennessee for me. <laughs> there you go. There's your there's your pit stop on, on your drive down. I cannot. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, I have an event that weekend, anyways. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You are um, busy. I have three events in June, and then, and then it's me. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah, we just keep, <laughs> keep smiling and nodding. <laughs> okay, so tell us who are you? Like, what? What are you? I'm Brittany. You're Brittany I'm from the Imperium. <laughs> um, okay, so I have been sewing since I was a kid. Uh, my grandma taught me how to sew, and then I've been running my business, the Imperium, for 12 years now. So I started out just making, like, cat toys and cat and dog collars and leashes. And then I uh, started working with Meowbox almost nine years ago. Um, so they are a subscription box for cats, and I have made... Probably like at least three hundred thousand toys for them since then. A lot. Yeah. Um. And not just me. Like I have a team of people. Um. Not so much this year, but last year. Um. I. I. Yeah. I had a lot of people working for me. Um. But I've been making bags and wallets and stuff for like four and a half years now. Nice. Um. I did the epoxy tumbler thing for a while. I just, I had no more epoxy for me, but <laughs> yeah. I have five cats also and two kids. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen photos of all five cats. Um, well, okay. So Donut and George are like, they're the premiere. They're, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're the cats. They're the show cats. They like to be on screen and on. Yeah. Screen. Yeah. And then, um, there's Luna Yes. She is my other kitten. She just turned a year old, but she's all black. And then there's Leo. He's nine and he's all gray and he's like a scaredy boy. He's like a mommy's boy. Like as soon as I lay down in bed, he's glued to me. But otherwise he's nowhere to be seen. And then Star is a tortoiseshell. 
so she's like black with like orange like oh yeah speckles all over her she's really cute but she is a b-i-t-c-h um <laughs> she's just if she's she only likes me and she just hides a lot so yeah she's oh, speaking of you said you said you spelled out the curse word make me think yeah don't get Un demonetized, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, "Did you monetize this before we?" Started? I did. I remembered. I was like <laughs> in a hurry to like dry my hair, and I was like, "Oh my god, I gotta go monetize." <laughs> <laughs> I need to wash my hair, hence why it's in the braid. I also yeah, need to color it. It's just so it's. Dark. I just colored mine, and I've been like washing it in hot water because I don't care. So. To crime. <laughs> uh, if I if I had gone and gotten it colored, I would be washing it in ice water. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was like taking ice showers for like two months straight, and then I was like, oh, okay, now that it's fading, I don't care anymore. Yeah, <laughs> warm shower. Dang it. We have a utility sink down here, like where my tumbler area is, and that's where I will wash my hair with cold water because it has like the shower head thing. Uh huh. But no, uh, yeah, <laughs> the things we do. I need to know what this emoji is because I haven't seen this one yet. I don't know. That's one of the YouTube ones. Oh, oh okay. Okay. It's yeah. a one, not a it, it must be on your channel because it's not one of my special ones. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I don't even think I'm at a thousand subscribers yet. So like, I can't get anything cool like that. So you can, um, there's still like the regular emojis. Yeah. And YouTube has, like, names for them. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And then, like, um, yeah, we're so you have to be in the partner program before you can, like, try, like, um, apply for the memberships. Yeah. We're not there yet. We're Soon. 40 people away. And a lot of watch hours. Yeah. That's the hard part. <laughs> oh, the watch hours are torture on here. If yeah. If anyone wants to share YouTube, just fair warning. It's yeah. <laughs> And then it'll like play with you and you're like, I should have like a hundred more hours. And then it'll be like, it'll go up one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, Shelterton <laughs> is a little cat in a box. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So not only do you like answer all your, like you're a customer service guru for So Magical Expo. <laughs> Um, you also, and you have your, your whole side thing with making the cat toys in the bags. You do a lot of shows, but you also have been coming to teach at SME. Yeah. Wait, well, Texas. one time so far. <laughs> I was going to say Texas. You didn't do, you didn't do Florida. So Texas. And so this is your second show. So Magical Expo Tennessee. So what are you teaching for Tennis SME? I'm teaching the car trash can pattern by Mormino on industrial machines. I'm teaching my steering wheel cover pattern and that's on domestics. And I'm also teaching a felt cat toy class on domestics. Yeah. I'm looking up to see, I don't even know. I haven't looked lately to see who's sold out. Okay. So uh, the car, the car trash, trash cans, cans are sold out. Yeah. But there's still spots left in the felt cat toys. Mm-hmm. And I think there's maybe like seven or eight spots left in steering wheel covers. Oh, okay. So that one's selling out really quickly. Yeah. Um, I have my steering wheel cover that you made. Oh, um, yeah. One. Yeah, my little stitch one. Yeah, we, read, <laughs> we, we love it. So <laughs> it, those are really fun. You taught felt cat toys and steering wheel covers in Texas. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I really love those. But the little designs. So you made all the designs for the felt cat toys, right? Yeah, I did. I made those. And then... um. I wish I could show them, but the cats stole them. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I have. I, I thought about that right before. I was like, oh, I should try to find them. I was like, I have no idea where they are. Um, oh, wrong page. Oh, I found one. You found one? <laughs> <laughs> it's a furry uh, t Tennessee flag. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. A very furry one. Yeah, they, they've been enjoying it. <laughs> I think my favorite one is the guitar pick. I mean, I love the duckies. Don't get me wrong. Duckies yeah. For days. But the little meow guitar pick is so dang cute. <laughs> it's the Fender font. Yeah, like, I don't even know how you found that. I, they have a font for, like, anything. I just Googled Fender font. <laughs> That's amazing. I go to the font 
com for most things. Yeah. But most things, it's like so hard to figure out what do I search for in here? Right. Because it's fun. The, the ducks this time are on a glitter felt. So it's really hard to photograph. Oh, it's um, glitter felt? I yeah. So that. like in person, it's just like a little glittery. Oh, now I want to make one. <laughs> <laughs> and so you sublimate on it. First, mm -hmm. right and then you all the kits are completely cut out and ready to go and then you teach them how to sew it stuff it yeah so it's not fully cut but it's fully prepped so we will do some cutting in class okay but nothing like oh my gosh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so the way i make cat toys is a lot of times we take um like a cardboard pattern piece and trace and then you'll sew and then you'll cut it out. So for these toys, like there's pieces. Let me see if I can find my other kit. The old kit. Becky plays the guitar. Um, and um Becky and her wife Cassie have a ton of cats. Not a ton. I don't know. Are they? I don't know, Becky. Are y'all tied for cat count with Brittany? Um <laughs> Um, but they're all cute and fluffy too. And, um, so I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is perfect for Becky over here. Yeah. So there's like little pattern pieces. So this is the duck. And then you just trace it and you sew inside your tracing line. And then you end up cutting between your sewing line and your tracing line. Oh, but, okay. So like, this is kind of what, like, there's the stuffing, catnip, uh, little pieces. Um, I put a pen and a spoon in them. So these are like my Texas kits. But I was going to say, you're already that prepared. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> <What's real? laughs> I don't even have kits finished for the cruise in like a month. <laughs> um, oh, no, sorry. Becky has four cats. So you. Okay, I win. That's why I won. Holding down the cat lady title. So do the cat toys have catnip in them or is that like an optional thing later? Yeah, so the kit has a bag of catnip and you don't have to put it in there. So like if you just wanted to make like the felt toys or even like let a kid play with them, you don't have to put catnip in them. Nice. But well, that's nice that it's like an added part of that yeah. whole kit. So they, they're true cat toys if you want them to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if you just want to, like, um, I made a post yesterday, and I was like, was it yesterday? Was it today? Not sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know what day it is right now. They just so. blur. Yeah. Um, but if you wanted to just, like, learn the basic, like, little, because people make, like, felt food and stuff for kids and whatnot, too. So, like, oh, it truly doesn't have to be a cat toy. So, they get all those pattern pieces, though, in the kit, too. So, they essentially can replicate it later. Yeah, for, like, the duck and then so like last time the boot i sublimated it so like you can't really replicate that but you can make more ducks i'm i would just make all ducks <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make you a kit that's just three different ducks yes. <laughs> i will make them and i will hide them from my dog and my child and they will go on my special shelf they will steal them um okay so cat, felt cat toys the steering wheel cover and that one's really simple too that's, yeah that's beginner based and that's mm -hmm. with a knit fabric right yeah so i use a knit um like a cotton lycra usually and usable fleece yes yeah there's like just the right amount of padding and you now have a pattern on this mm -hmm. so even if you can't make tennis me and you want to make a steering wheel cover they can go to your website, which is uh, www.theimperium.com. I also cool. have them on Etsy now. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, but it's not the Imperium on Etsy. Um, it's like Pawfic Patterns or something. I just wanted to get it like up there. Yeah. I've sold like a couple on there. I'm like, whatever, it's extra. <laughs> well, um, Alex says one of the duckies should be orange. So that was an option for the last one. Actually, like this kit, it's an orange duck. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, since it's just sitting there and nobody wanted orange. I mean, I don't <laughs> know why people don't love orange more. It's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I sent random ones. Like, I have the kits on my website still from Texas because I had some extras. Yeah. Okay. 
guess no one's gotten orange yet. I think I gave. I think I said an orange. I can't remember. Oh, everybody's in the comments saying hi to each other. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> like, hi, Jen. Hi, Fred. Hi, Kathy. Hi, <laughs> That's funny. Um, they want to know. Okay, so when you come to the show, um, you're not a vendor. You're just teaching and working for me. That's yeah. Not, that's not a just thing, but you aren't also vending because that would be insane. Yeah. Um, I've talked to Lauren about maybe just like throwing something in her booth, like stereo covers or something. I, we've, we'll see. <laughs> I think Alex is also doing that. So <laughs> y'all can have like an employee shelf of kits or something. <laughs> No, somebody want to know, can they just buy the kit? And so it, you would have to be at So Magical Expo in order to buy a prepped kit with the mm -hmm. pattern and all. Um, but potentially in the Mormino booth. <laughs> I not, did bring extras last me. time and I sold them, um, which I plan to do again. Yeah. And do they just flag you down and say, hey, Brittany? Yeah, I last time i kept them in the industrial room <laughs> like i just had my pink tub um <laughs> oh, they'll be in tennessee okay so just find Brittany. she'll I will bring be, extras yeah she'll be potentially in an orange shirt <laughs> oh the long sleeve orange shirts i know i got i have the jerseys, but i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can find another option because those things ain't cheap um yeah. i gotta figure out i think we're gonna put staff on the back or staff on the front and then SME on the back I think oh, I yeah, I'm wearing my Texas shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mine is so worn out because I wore it so much over the past year. <laughs> so. I have three different ones. <laughs> I feel like every time you're at SME, even when you came to Florida, there was you were always had like a stack of them in your arm. I know you were getting them from other people, but. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like sitting on the floor digging through them to make sure I could get all of our sizes in like, it was these ones. I'm like, I have to get them all in the same color and I have to claim them now so that they're not gone. <laughs> yeah, because it gets really hard. Um, a lot of the spirit jersey colors, they, I buy them wholesale direct from the people who manufacture them and they're not restocking everything anymore. Right. Um, so it's really, really difficult. Um, oh, somebody asked, how much is the kit? So if you take the class online, it's 22. Yeah. So I think you're you're doing that as well, right? In person? I think so. I'm not a thousand percent sure for Tennessee yet, um, but it'll be similar at yeah. least. Yeah. At least $22. Assume that. Yeah. And then like afterwards, I had put some on my website because like I had them. So but no promises that they'll make it to the website. Yeah. Oh, Alex is putting theirs in the swag booth. I know I've been wanting to have like a shelf or something for extra kits for teachers who are just teachers to be able to put them. Maybe we'll do that for Tennessee. We'll test run it with y'all. That'd be fun. And then that way, like it's just pre-programmed in there. I think that'll be a good idea. Alex, make a note. Put it on, <laughs> put it on the Monday list. <laughs> this is what you get for saying something. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. This doesn't have to do with Brittany necessarily in her classes. But uh, can we order some Tennessee pre Tennessee spirit jerseys? Yes. So um, after we're done chatting about this, I was going to talk about retail. I am going to be dropping retail here, hopefully by mid next week. Um, what's wrong? Oh, Luna, every time I go live, she has to like walk around on the table. Oh, yeah, because she wants to be involved. She's like, Hello, mom. That's You're what it is. To me. <laughs> I need like a real good pink spirit jersey. All they have is that like hella cone, Kona, Konya one. We just call um, it. Yeah, it's not bad. It, no, I mean, that one's wildberry. I'm sorry, that one's wildberry. I think there's a lighter color one, maybe. I don't know. Just just look them up. I mean, I got Alex Lilac freaking joggers. Apparently, we're now special doing a special run of Lilac joggers for the Patreon members oh, only. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You saw the emails. He's like, I don't know what happened, but you got several emails. Those are reminders because the page. I told the Patreon people, I'm not going to remember 
because we're on Patreon calls for like five, six hours sometimes. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to remember. So please just email and it will remind me later. Um, yeah, but and then I'm like, I don't know what to tell them. And you're like, oh, it's just a reminder. <laughs> there she is. Hello. She's like on uh, my scene. <laughs> to like, look, lady. No, she'll knock that curtain down, that pink curtain. Oh. She's done that during a live. Like she climbs on it and yanks it down? I don't even know. <laughs> it's just a mess. No, Alex taking notes. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have the lilac joggers for Patreon only. Oh yeah, and Patreon's gonna get special like first access to the sticker anxiety notebooks. They came in. Oh I didn't show you yet. I have one. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it's big. Yeah, it's big. I think the next time we'll do smaller ones. But look, it's got a little thing. And then can you see it's got like a little pre -cut Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And it's got the logo, but it's got 50 pages. We wanted it to be this big so you could put, you know, those um, little pouches that you can buy um, that are like little zip pouches you put in like Trapper Keepers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can fit that in here. Oh, so cool. then you can put all your stickers in here until you're ready. But they're all like double sided, 50 pages it comes with. Um, so you take your sticker off the backing and put it in there, but then you can take it off. Yeah, then it's repositionable, and you can put it on any page. But it's uh, not like you can open it up so you can take your pages out. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I'm super excited. So Patreon, I mean, we have a whole sticker anxiety support group <laughs> on there. So they'll get first dibs. There's two two more designs that are like paint splatter looking instead oh, of just cool. the there's one that's very pink-esque, so don't worry. <laughs> we'll get you a pink one. <laughs> I have all your stickers from Texas. Oh, yeah? Too. So I'm like, I'll just, like, package those all up and send them to Brittany. <laughs> or I'll just bring them to you on the cruise. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Really that's so soon. <laughs> it's less than a month. Yeah. <laughs> and we're over here, like, working on class kits, and it's insane. I was, like, I'm just looking at it a minute ago. There's... Like 60 class kits getting made for <laughs> four different patterns. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, when am I dropping retail? Hopefully mid next week. I'm going to do a special, like I'm trying to get it all done and all on the website. I am told Alex today, I'm like, hey, if you're bored, <laughs> I got a really mundane task. Can you take all the inventory and load it on the site? Oh, jeez. Um, but I was like, I'll, I'll get it started this weekend. And hopefully I can get that done. And then I'll do a special drop to Patreon for like a day or two. And then I'll do everything else. We're adding tumblers too. Oh. Yeah. I think we're going to do like a pick your tumbler situation. Like here's the colors we have. Pick your design. And I'll make to order it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So then I'll do like batches of them. And then I'll take a, it'll take a week to get out. But I think that'll be bad. Yeah. I think it'll be more fun that way. Oh yeah, there was. Um, did you hear who's the the Tumblr sponsor? For yeah, Tumblr? Lauren's the Tumblr sponsor, and it's really cute. She picked yeah. up and everything. I like it. Yeah. Um. So that's gonna be a problem again because there was a lot of those tumblers at Texas everywhere. So I think everybody needs to have some way to mark their Tumblr because <laughs> people are like, I don't know if this is mine now, but I know I had one. So I'm walking away with this one. Oh, geez. Yeah. Like uh, my mom's got a luggage thing. It's like a pom-pom thing. Like oh. something you just wrap around your cup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something that identifies this is my cup. Don't say it. <laughs> so you know it's yours. Well, I went to MegaCon, right? And I'm selling my, I was selling some tumblers and I had my own tumbler. I had to bring a different tumbler than the ones I lasered because I was like, I'm going to accidentally sell the tumbler I'm drinking out of. Right. Yeah. When we, um, a, a group of us were like, we can't bring the same Starbucks tumbler. No. And then when I picked Tiff up to start heading to Texas, I was like, oh, we brought the same one. No. Oops. She tried. only has like two or three, and I found the same one as her. Well, it doesn't help when y'all mass buy tumblers of the same color. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> Tumblr charms is such a cute idea, like wine glass charms. That should be yeah. a mess for Florida. 
It would be cute. Alex and Kathy both said stickers. Where would, yeah. I don't know. I'm just like, okay, so I've got the sloppy sewist one. I mean, yeah. In pink. I like this pink. This is a very good pink. I'm glad you enjoy. I specifically got that pink with you in mind. <laughs> and then I got the purple with Alex in mind. And then the teal is me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so when I like tag tumblers at shows, I'll put it through here, but I, oh, you wouldn't want to drink. I'm like, how could we? I don't yeah. know. You get it like maybe like a scrunchy band around it. Yeah. I mean, that'll work. Give me a new class. Who wants to teach it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, wait, you can't put your application in anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Florida closed. I gotta, um, we're sending those out next week. Ooh. Um, oh, Judy says, I'll print my name on my Cricut and then stick it on there. That's smart. Yeah, bring pre-designed <laughs> stickers or something, vinyl, to put on it. Oh, um, Lisa asked, do you have a pattern for your steering, steering wheel cover? Yep, I do. It's on my website, um, the Imperium.com. I'm going to pull it up real quick. And actually, hey, Alex, <laughs> can you can you uh, put the link down? Um, oh, Lauren linked it on oh, my channel. It. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> I'm here for the tumblers and anything pink. Oh, Kristen <laughs> said straw toppers. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah. We don't provide straws. But yeah, if you bring a straw, then you can do it. Kristen's really big into the epoxy tumblers. And mm -hmm. so I feel like she would have some really cute. Ones. Yeah, they have like molds from and stuff. And then they have 3D print ones too. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, my 3D printers and a bunch of parts on my desk. I finally got it out of the box. I just, well, that's um, good. Step one. Yeah. Not a box. <laughs> I um, bought it last June. <laughs> On Prime Day. July. I'm sorry. It's a little bit better. <laughs> At least it hasn't been a year yet. Just do it before tennis me and you'll be fine. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm, Literally, I got it out of the box, but it's just like a stack of like parts. I didn't expect it to be so many parts and it overwhelmed me. So fine. That's fair. <laughs> That's, that's that's freaking fair. <laughs> okay, so we talked about the two classes. I still have seats, and then the third one is a tra card trash can, which is a free pattern by Laura Mormino. Yeah, and that one's on the industrials. That one's sold out. So I'm sorry, y'all. Um, <laughs> that one went. All the I think almost all the industrials are sold out now, except for the open sewing time on industrials. Yeah. Which, which you go ahead. So much fun! Like sign up just do it <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so you are one of the teachers in the industrial room um lauren and then there's some that like will rotate throughout there um alex as well um and then a couple other folks that are just really knowledgeable on the industrials himself sam will be in tennessee um, so going um so if you can't get into a class but say you want to like download Ooh. Or if you're like anti class kit, you want to just, hey, buddy. <laughs> George. It's George. Um, if you want to just like cut your own materials, get the free uh, Mormino pattern on their site or, you know, one of the other ones, then you can just cut it out in the So Magical Lounge. I think Julie from Off the Wall Quilt might have like a cutting station. And yeah, her, which is, that sounds amazing. Yeah, with like some templates and she will help you. Like if you have questions about how to cut things with a rotary cutter, because there is a correct way to do it, apparently. Not cutting your finger. Yeah, not cutting your finger. Um, but yeah, so if you want to go to that booth, um, then you can cut out there and then you can just come to the open sewing time. And then play with industrials. Yeah. And if you've never sewn on an industrial, you can have one of us like sit down with you and show you how to thread it, how to wind a bobbin, how to put the bobbin in, like literally just like a rundown of it. And because there are multiple teachers in there, like anything you need help with, we can help. It was, I really enjoyed teaching people about the industrials. Like, yeah. Oh, that's so good. I yeah. love them. You, you got a lot of, like, positive comments on the... On the <laughs> They're like, we love Brittany. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I truly enjoyed, like, 
I just teaching. I love my industrial and I love what it can do. So like helping people like find that like as well. Yeah. Um, They're (laughs) yeah. They, you can go to like the sunny sewing booth as well. And they have a lot of different types of machines in the industrial room. We'll have 10, 1181 Jukies and five, 1541 Thors and one cylinder arm potentially. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but um, so you'll have like different machines there, but say you want to try, try an industrial serger or something else, those are in the booth. But the difference is like, they only have so many people working the booth. Whereas in this time you have dedicated like group of teachers who can sit there with you one-on-one and answer your questions and you can actually like, sew whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> see what I did there. Speaking of, <laughs> is the So Whatever weekend completely sold out for me? Oh, yeah. It's, okay. it's actually, I don't know. Lauren, comment on that. I believe it sold out. I think for both, Bring Your Own Machine, too. Yeah, I think there is. I don't know. I know at least one went, I think the other one, but I, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I believe so. I couldn't remember if there was like one. Someone emailed about it today. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I should probably check. <laughs> and I figured if there was a spot, we could tell people. But I guess not. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Um, but I know with Lauren adding on to her building and expanding headquarters, um, there's going to be a lot more opportunities for so whatever weekend. So I'm stoked for it. Same. <laughs> I will be up in the Midwest a bunch more, apparently. Yeah. Might as well. I got to see, like, the flags where it was, like, marked off. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. that's so exciting. Did it go into the cage, the 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 creepy graveyard area? <laughs> yeah. It was, I know it was a children's playground, but it looks like... Uh, I don't think it was that creepy. <laughs> it, it was so creepy. I don't know. Maybe because we went, it was like rainy the one morning. I don't know. Okay, but that's it, fair. It looked like like an abandoned like pet cemetery. <laughs> Well, I, I I don't remember seeing it last time, or like I guess I just didn't think it was part of that. And I was like, "What is that?" And she's like, "Oh, this used to be like a daycare. Yeah, <laughs> with like a I little playground because the fence is like so short. It is. That's why it's like a pet size. It's just, and but she and you know they're tearing it down and building on top of it. So I'm just saying, <laughs> if you see little ghost kitties running around at headquarters, I need it pictures because. <laughs> prove my boy um uh jennifer asked can you message me about working in florida or should i email okay so if you want to volunteer for so magical expo there is a volunteer application on the site fill that out and that's how i know um jennifer and then just put in the notes if you would like to work the whole time or just like volunteer shifts um and that'll help me because i don't work that stuff until like three weeks before the show because people pick their classes or they say they want to volunteer and then they pick the classes and their schedule changes, all sorts of things. So, (laughs) and yes, what Alex said, email, always email. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, Facebook messenger doesn't like me and I get too many messages. So I don't get that. How many emails do we get on a daily basis? Okay. Your email doesn't look as bad, but I get, I get like Kayla specific ones on top of it. And I was like looking on average, I think it was like a hundred and something a day. What? Yeah. That I get. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So I was like, hey, Brittany, you want to answer emails? I know you're like, can you do emails all the time? I was like, I have like one, (laughs) but sure. (laughs) Well, also because everybody was messaging me and I'm like, well, the, I have Brittany now and and this will take Alex, like stuff off of Alex's plate, but yeah. Oh, Alex said, speaking of it from experience, cutting your figure with the rotary takes you out of sewing commission for four weeks. Yeah, don't do that. I was looking through pictures this morning for something, and I forgot I did, like, cut the end of my finger last two years ago. Are you serious? <laughs> well, luckily, it was when I didn't have acrylics, and I was, like, oh. holding the ruler, and my finger was just, like, over the edge a little. Oh, no. And it, like, cut the edge of my nail completely off but it just like nicked my skin thankfully because like I was playing pressure so like my finger was like out of the way but if it would yeah Mm. it could have been worse so calm mom I was so worried about my rotary cutter (laughs) it's hard too 
I've cut straight into my knee before. <laughs> <laughs> what were you? How were you sitting? How? What was okay, the- so yes. before I had all of this, um, like when I left my ex-husband, I was living with my mom, and I was cutting like a whole bolt of felt for cat toys. So I had my little mat on the living room floor, and I would just like slide the mat like along the whole bowl to felt and I was cutting and I didn't cut this part. So I came at me and it went to my knee. (laughs) Fun. I was like on my knees, like kneeled over cutting on the floor. Yeah. We've, we've all been there. I feel like, yeah. Like how else do you start? Like nobody has a cutting table to start with unless you just use your kitchen table. And even then. Yeah. Um, which I have done multiple times. (laughs) Um, Alex already answered this in the comments, but in case you're on Facebook and can't see it, uh, the only, the only way you can bring an animal to the Gaylord properties is if it's a service dog. Um, I, if it's ESA, you have to contact them, but service dogs are the only ones that they do absolutely allow in. I have to just stipulate that. Yeah. That is the rule. Yeah. I looked it up on their website too. Yeah. No pets on property. Yeah. Zeus was not a Gaylord Texan. (laughs) If George didn't have such bad anxiety himself, I would make him an emotional support animal. But if I took him anywhere, he'd like, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You would be his emotional support animal. (laughs) Actually, he would probably do better if he went places. When I leave, he gets like, depressed it's sad oh yeah. okay everybody apparently has had horror stories with cutting their hairs yeah all the time i'm like man i probably should have been more careful when i just did that but i didn't cut myself so it's okay <laughs> okay well that's not bad <laughs> um quick question Do you have the meetup schedule um that is in work Um, hopefully by mid to late next week, the meetup information, like all the meetup information and the schedule will be on the website. And then about a week or so later, um, or probably like a week after that, we'll do the signups for the meetups so that you can pick which one you want and everything like that. But that's, that's in work. We had to finalize the poll, get those figured out, put it in a schedule. When does the um, machine rental form go up? Soon, right? No, it needs to go up now, actually. (laughs) Hey, Alex. (laughs) Alex was asking today, hey, give me me my list of stuff. And I'm like, I can't remember what needs to happen right now. I'm I'm in the middle of, like, New Orleans, which is in two weeks. Like, massive prep and making sure everything's good there. And then the cruise which is a lot more logistics because it's a lot of machines going on a ship. Yeah. And we're bringing like everything you could need. Um, you're welcome. Um, yeah. So those are coming out. Um, I think it was like the top two or three picks out of different things. So there's some good ones in there. I'm excited for the ex- sticker exchange, especially since we'll have sticker books now. Yeah. I want everybody, I want it to be like, okay, my age is going to show, but when I was a kid and you had the the big uh, trapper keepers with all the Pokemon cards in it, and, like, you brought them, and you were, like, just open it up, and you were, like, tradesies. Like, you can do that with the sticker books, and I'm I'm just, I'm freaking excited. I had, like, the whole, um, like, box that opened the Lisa Frank sticker box. Yes! Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Like, childhood memory unlocked. <laughs> I'm so glad that Lisa Frank is still around. Like, Thea has a Lisa Frank, um, like, leopard folder. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. It's coming back. It's, like, it's reviving itself. Yeah. Oh, Lauren says, we shipped three boxes to you today. I know. Damien's going to be like, what the crap? Just I got a, I got a box from Mormina today. Oh, did you? What did yes. you get? Oh, did you get the zipper thingy? Mm-hmm. <gasps> What what grade did you get though? I don't know. I was gonna ask Lauren. <laughs> I meant to because I'm gonna um, after this finish recording for my vlog tomorrow. I get I I'm getting fifteen of six fifteen sixteen of them for 
um, our machines. I think that's a C grade because of the top. I, I don't know. I'm guessing. Um, she sent me a video. She was like, is this okay? I said, it's pretty. Oh, because I didn't want one that was like solid purple. That was my only thing. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't like purple. <laughs> and before anyone goes off, if you love purple, I'm happy for you. And that just means I won't take the purple things from you. <laughs> It's like before you throw things. That's at what me. everyone always says. They're like, I'm not, I, I just I mean, don't. I'm yeah, not no. a purple fan, but it goes really well with teal. So it's pretty. Yeah. Oh, she said you got a B. Okay. okay. Oh, I just wanted to make sure, like I told people, and I got um Imperium pink vinyl. Oh, it is so pretty. Yeah. Um, there's a film on it, is but it it's like a color. It's. Like a peachy pink? It's hard to kind of, yeah. And it has like a like a gold shimmer. Oh. Yes. Oh, I know which one that was. That's the the one of the mythical creatures one. What? Isn't that one of the mythical creature ones? Are you talking about the like very shifty ones? Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's like, the one I'm thinking of. Like yeah. yeah, that one. Sorry. That's what I'm thinking of. No. This one, I think Josie told me it's called Pixie. Oh, yes. It's not out yet. Yeah, those are, I was there when they were trying to name them. And I'm like, this is so much fun. I know. I love just like going and sitting at Lauren's desk and then like just getting in the drawer with the swatches. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what else is in that drawer? I'm like, I'm just going to go look at the swatches if you don't mind. <laughs> And I'll be like, did you order this one? Because if you didn't, you should. And then Lauren's probably like, when she goes over her invoices, like, oh, Brittany. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's fine, as long as it sells. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a bunch of sticker questions. Um, will the sticker books be in the swag booth? Yes. I had bought a lot. Um, <laughs> like, a lot. So, please buy them. Um <laughs> Um, there's a lot of, th then there's three designs. So yeah, they'll be on online and they'll also be in the swag booth at the shows. Um, and then I think we're going to do, we're not going to do it for Tennessee, but for Florida, it's an idea I was like bouncing around was, okay, so we have the passport and that will never, that won't go away this year at least. Excuse me. Um, but we were thinking like if you had a sticker anxiety book and you could go to the vendors who have stickers and then like. I don't know. I'm trying to toy with it. Like if you get a purchase, you get a sticker. And then like, if you collect X amount of vendor stickers, you get like a sticker pack from SME. I don't know. I do fun. Yeah. Um, or like a bundle. I don't know. We have a lot of stickers. Lauren said the vinyl is the same style, but a custom color. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and Desiree said, I got mine in the mail today. It smells so good. Yeah. The, <laughs> the vinyl can have an interesting smell. It's worth it, though. <laughs> I am one of those weird people. I love the smell when I open up the box of vinyl. I'm like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> some of it smells very much like nail polish, though. Okay, but I'm one of those, and I, I know it's weird, but I like I like the smell. <laughs> as long as it's not too much, I am like sensitive to smells, and I'll get a headache sometimes. But so far, none of the vinyl has actually like gave me a headache. Yeah. Where's the best place to order stickers? I guess it depends on if you're doing your own custom stickers or like random stickers. I and how many? Yeah. Uh, if people want like random stickers, they'll go on, I know, Amazon, eBay, a um, couple other places where they'll just get, oh, I want Harry Potter themed and they'll just get like a random big batch and it's pretty cheap. Um, but if you want your own custom stickers, um, I've used uh, Rockin' Monkey in the past. I've never used them. Yeah, I like them a lot. They were real, like, it's small business. I know, I like supporting my small businesses, but they're small business. They do really good. And they're always coming up with, like, new backgrounds and stuff. Um, I think a lot of people use Sticker Mule. I know. Yeah, I've um, used them. Is that who you use? Um, I only usually do their deals. Mm. Um, because otherwise it's kind of too expensive. I'm trying to figure out where I've been ordering from this one place, but without pulling my email up on my phone, um, sticky brand, I think it's called, but, um, theirs are pretty cheap. So their deals for like two and a half inch stickers. So 
So, well, because I sell mine, I get mine from overseas. So, like, that's another option if you're wanting to buy a lot of them. So, these are my sticker mules. Oh, which way? Okay. Backwards. Um, <laughs> and I really like their stickers. And then these are the sticky brand ones. So, the size is just, like, a little bit different. Yeah. Um, one thing I don't like about sticker mule is, say, you order, like, three-inch stickers. Well, my logo is just, like, a long, skinny rectangle, basically. Yeah. They don't like adjust it. So oh. you're losing out on a lot of sticker. Mm -hmm. Um but I think this place will like adjust for like the square footage of your sticker. Which seems fair to me. That stinks. Yeah, no, I, I don't I think that's like Rock and Monkey would do that. Like you could go two by three versus a three by three. Mm -hmm. They would they would adjust it, which I liked, but yeah, I buy I buy too many of them now. So I just go overseas. Um, I have a really good lady for it. Honestly, like I would share who it is too, because she's amazing and she's really helpful. Well, Lauren um, said they adjust now. Sticker meal adjusts. Oh. Hmm. Alex says yeah. they oh. ordered from sticker app. I haven't heard of that one. I think I've heard of it, but I haven't ordered. Oh, Jen said that Heartwood and Hyde said they're going to be stickers. I might have to just bug them because I uh, that's that's fun. It's, they're right here in Florida too. Yeah, I love Jade and Chris. They were so nice. I'm it's, glad they're going to Tennessee, right? Yeah, they're coming to Tennessee and they're I'm coming sorry. to Florida. They signed up for both. Yay! Um, they're so sweet. When um, I was talking to Chris, like he dropped off VIP stuff at my house because he was in town. Um, and I was telling him, like, I'm getting a laser, blah, blah, blah. And so he actually, like, helped me and sent me links on different, like, exhaust systems and what to do. And if you need help with the software. I'm like, I like to try to figure it out on my own first. But, like, if I get stuck, I will bug you. <laughs> and I've talked to him a couple times. And they're they're just such good people. Mm -hmm. They're really nice. Oh. Um, Alex's Hello uh, Starshine stickers are from there. Nice. I'll yeah, tell you have I finalized a theme for Tennessee yet? And if so, do you have samples to show us? I can. Yeah. Because I have not ordered the Tennessee fabric yet, but I have it. It's music themed. So I can show the VIP one too. I couldn't remember if you showed it to other people or if I just saw I it. showed it on pa Patreon's definitely seen it a couple times now. I think you showed it on a wine and chat. Maybe? I don't know. I, I know I saw it, but I also have access to the folder, so I don't know. <laughs> I just, like, looked it up on my... <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that is the perk of being on it, is like, oh, ha, ha ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on today? <laughs> um, all sorts of things. Yeah, the So Bagical <laughs> announcement post has been created. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I'm almost done finalizing teachers. I'm trying to decide if I'm driving or flying for that. <laughs> I have to, like one? so magical because How long drive is it nine hours? Ooh. See, okay, but by the time if you have to take a connecting flight, by the time yeah. you have to go to the airport early, do your flights, and then I fly into Cleveland and drive an hour home, it's kind of like why not just drive? And take whatever I want with me. Would you go? Well, I was going to say, you would you go by yourself? Because then, like, I mean, that still stinks, but it's not as bad. I just drove there with my daughter only. So, yeah. Ugh. The problem is school starts the day after it. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's what Alex was saying. I'm like, well, we had we would have already started school, like, three weeks prior here yeah. in Florida. So I just, it's something that, I don't know, it's so hard to plan around everything that happens yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So like, I have to be home that night at some point. <laughs> at some point. It doesn't have to. Happen. Like there's a flight that gets into Cleveland at like 10, 10 30. So I'd be home by midnight, but then I'm also like, like I just stick around a little longer and get home in the middle. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm deciding. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 
I'm trying to open this on a separate tab so not everybody can see my 50 million tabs. <laughs> uh, trying to decide if I'm flying or driving to Florida, too. I told Laura, and I was like, well, if Tiff doesn't go, I could just be like, all right, who's on the route? You can hop in. Um, you probably won't have to drive, uh, but you have to listen to whatever music I want to, however loud. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. It's just like 77 straight down. <laughs> Hold on, I don't look. I don't think this is the right one. Hold on, Hold on. I only <laughs> showed one that's not the VIP design. This is so hard to see because it's in white. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold up. I'm gonna go grab the VIP shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they're all done. We make a lot. Oh dang! We make extra of every size. They've been done for like a month now. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, I guess the VIP has been sold out uh yeah it's been sold out i mean even when we like do the switches where different people get different ones, i can at least show the fabric where are we at there i am <laughs> lauren lose <laughs> yourself and please take the moment <laughs> i never let it go <laughs> you only get one chance <laughs> um this is okay so there's a couple different designs i don't know if we're gonna run them all yet um, I'll probably put it on Patreon for them to get first dibs. I love. I think this. those are cute. It is so freaking cute. <laughs> um, uh, the purple one. I don't know if I love the purple or teal more. I know which one you're gonna say, but <laughs> you're gonna be like, "Why isn't there a pink background?" No, I understand. <laughs> I do like the maroon a lot, and this maroon matches some of the fabric we had for uh, Texas. Which is also not Texas specific on some of them. They just have the hibiscus and the. Floral. I feel like the Texas works well for Tennessee too. It does. It really does. We're like, okay, well, let's keep adding fun categories. Why? Why? <laughs> why not? Okay, hold on. Let me. Oh, hello. I don't know what that does. <laughs> what? I like minimize the page. <laughs> oh no! Where am I? <laughs> I lost my whole web page. There I am. Okay. Hold on. Let me go get. I'm gonna go get. The thing real quick. <laughs> Keep them entertained. All right. I can't read comments anymore about my channel. It's fine. I have to like go back and forth. Also, I like don't have stuff set up on my iPad very well. So let's see. Jennifer, I really should go to Tennessee. Yes. <laughs> Music royalty. Ooh. Hey, Kathy, I would carpool with you, too, but you're a little far away. <laughs> Not quite on the way to Florida. <laughs> uh, Kathy's a little out of the way. <laughs> Jennifer, someone kidnapped me for Tennessee. You are in the opposite direction. <laughs> okay, so they're on Navy. Yeah, and they're the Navy. Like, we like to do the the low, the low, high V-neck. I like that one. Ooh, yes, I like it. Yeah, so it's a little musical, the stars, because I mean, Tennessee. So this kind of like leads into the whole theme for the Saturday night party. So um, Salty Sos is sponsoring it again. And um, I told them they have to get me their stuff soon so that we can uh, announce what it's good at, like the theme. I think they gave a hint on it. Lauren said the yellow would run out of gas with a poop emoji. <laughs> Kathy, you can't poop in my car. <laughs> I had the whole conversation with Damien. Was it today or yesterday? And I was like, what would you rather do? Would you rather poop your pants or run out of gas? And he's like, I'll poop my pants. I'm like, no. What? Run out of gas. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Brittany. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> well, we do love you, Kathy. Don't worry. I started that whole thing, by the way. Oh, is it you? I thought it was Kathy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, just hop in the back of my van, Jen, my, my creeper van, which still <laughs> has a name. Patreon was coming up with names. I need to run a poll now. I don't know if you just put like ducks on the van, if it would be better or worse. <laughs> like, are you trying to lure kids? So the magnets on the side too have the hibiscus, like it has this print. 
in teal <laughs> on it with the so magical logo and i'm like i don't know like i feel so bad picking up my child from school i feel like that's fine but if it was just like ducks <laughs> with like no explanation <laughs> that's a creeper fan um that's crazy hi mike <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love the fabrics there's a couple others oh no where i give up with my whole computer today <laughs> so many things open and i have like the laser software because i was running the laser earlier mm -hmm. i figured out how to make acrylic stands mm. I put my tumblers on because i'm doing like a because i have enough time um i'm doing like a small fair thing in our neighborhood tomorrow i i feel that <laughs> what what am i doing why i'm like so after the cruise i'm gonna get home at like midnight or something and then two days later i have a two-day show <laughs> oh why why not Brittany? i gotta sign up when they're available <laughs> also i signed up for that before i knew i was going on the cruise to be fair Okay, fine. Well, yeah, Alex did like con you into coming on the cruise. Well, it was <laughs> so I had a free flight credit to use, and poor Mike. Um, <laughs> I was like, "Hey, let's go to Orlando for the weekend." I wanted to just like go to Epcot one day with him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because he really enjoys drinking. I don't so much, but I was like, "Okay, fine." You he has put up with going to disney and i'm like well let me take you to epcot and then you can like drink around the world um so i booked the flights and literally like the next day alex was like would you want to go on the cruise <laughs> i just booked orlando that weekend and then i was like well let me go on frontiers or i said something to mike and he was like well if you have the chance to go you should go it's like i feel bad um, and then I was like on the Frontier website, like playing around, like, would it let me change? And then I accidentally changed it. Yes. Uh, so I was like, well, um, the flight works now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was so. meant to be is what I'm hearing. Sure. Yeah. I Not am a little nervous because I don't really like boats. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fine. You're on, you're right by the convention area. Like you're low, so you're not going to feel as much. It'll be okay. Right. We'll see. <laughs> Lynn has a really good point, though. Like, no serial killers are going to want to crap at you if you're smelly. Um, but I also still would rather run out of gas. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you poop yourself, you might still run out of gas. And then you're stuck with poopy pants. Yeah. <laughs> and I can always potentially have gas in the back of my car ready to go. But who's to say I'm going to have the ability to take a shower I just imagine diaper rash. Like that's the first thing. I'm like, I'm gonna have a diaper rash, and I don't even wear diapers. <laughs> God willing, that's a long, long time from now. <laughs> oh, Fran likes the fabrics. Okay, I found a couple more. Hold it. Oh yeah. So our graphic designer Natalia does like really fun mock-ups. Okay, so where's my page? Okay, so this is I showed this fabric. Really. <laughs> okay i don't think i showed all of these i showed the maroon one this is like kind of the scale it would be too the purple ugh, so good the teal is my favorite i like the teal a lot yeah it's like that good teal Not the good i body. still have the um teal hibiscus ducky print left over i, I want to make like a bag for the cruise oh yeah i think it'd be so fun I just gotta decide what I wanna make. I need to make something else for the cruise. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I love, I love carrying mini backpacks for stuff. So I do like that. There's a teal version or something too, right? Or um a, a not all purple one, right? Uh I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> I don't remember. This is like <laughs> the design that's on the announcement. Oh um, yeah. But it reminds me of the Epcot ball. And I was like, Yeah. I don't typically run too many coordinates, but I really like some of these because I think they can be used in so many ways. Yeah. Um, this one matches one of our cruise colors a little bit. And then sorry, I'm like, there's lagging. There you go. I love this one. I think that's so cute. With the little <laughs> dust on the notes. Look at him. He's he's hiding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, I think we're almost no, there's like five more. That one. 
the little palms. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Did you see the Florida 23 files? I have not peeked in there yet. Yeah, go <laughs> dropped a bunch. I like this color. It's like a burnt orange, but it's not oh like um what's this sports team in Tennessee? I can't remember. Okay, apparently there was only one. Hmm. Was like I thought there was another one. I mean, I can always be like, hey Natalia, <laughs> make a different colorway for the back of this. I don't like white colorways. Yeah. Um, like they can look so nice, but I just know that whatever I make is gonna get ruined. Yeah, it's not practical. It's pretty, but not practical. The cruise will be relaxing. Yeah, I, I am excited. And after someone posts pictures of the like island, I was like, oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm reading comments. Um Alex said, I do not con her. I okay, you're right. Con is probably the wrong word. Um, Alex offered, and I was very grateful. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, oh, the Vols, the volunteers. Thank you, Alex. It was, like, bugging me. Oh, yeah, and the Nashville Predators. Are they the same color? I don't – I think the Nashville Predators is, like, um, a blue and a gold, maybe. Yeah. I, don't I know. think uh, – hockey is my sport. <laughs> <laughs> I only know, like, Florida things. <laughs> we went to Wawa today. This I've morning. never been there. Why? It's like going to Bucky's. Like you gotta go. They have it in New Jersey. I know. It's a northern thing, and then it's hopped all the states and came to Florida for some reason. I don't know if we. I'm. I'm gonna look it up right now and see where. Like if there are any in Ohio. There. Um. I mean, it's like it's just. <laughs> Wawak yeah. came up when I typed. It. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know you're a sewist? <laughs> um. But we went there and we got we got the hoagies. Um, this morning, so we could have it. What the heck is a Wawa? It's a gas station, like a QT, or I don't know. It's just like a nice guy. It's not a Bucky's. We but don't have QT up here either. No, we don't no. have these here in Florida. I only see them in um the. So we just went to Phoenix, and we went there two years ago too, because my son's grandma lives there. Um, but we went to a QT, and they had like Dole Whip, basically. And I was like, this is amazing. And then when Tiff and I were on our way to Texas, we stopped at a QT in Texas. And I was like, do you have pineapple soft serve? And this girl looked at me like I was crazy. And I was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I like their corn dog things at the QTs. No, Apparently so awesome. some people get offended if you call it a QT. They're like, it's a quick trip. I'm like. It's, it's a, a QT on no, the side. It's, it's QT. <laughs> um. But, uh, yeah, it's more like a nice new 7-Eleven, but, like, better. I don't, I don't know how to describe a Wawa, but they have really good uh, hoagies. It's like an, a northerner gas station. Um, but the hoagie we got had, the on the paper wrapping, had, like, all these Florida, like, colleges and sports teams all over it. It was really cool. I've got to go. They do not have any in Ohio. Oh. The closest ones to me are like Philadelphia and oh. Washington DC. <laughs> not close at all. Oh, not Philadelphia. I'm sorry. In, in Maryland and Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Bucky's and Walmart are not the same. Um, Bucky's. So um, I was listening to this TikTok and somebody said it was like Cracker Barrel and Walmart had a baby. And I'm like, that's so freaking true. For Bucky's? Yeah. Yeah. I, it, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. N and now I can't look at it any other way. I, I do enjoy going to Bucky's. I got a shirt in Texas at Bucky's. <laughs> Which one did you get? Um, It's light pink and it has the, it has Texas with like cactus in it. Oh. Yeah, it's really cute. I got one for uh, my friend Rochelle, too, because she used to live in Oklahoma, and she's living in Hawaii right now. Oh. Yeah. That's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> um, Her husband's in the Army. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, we got... Um, me and Miss Becky got matching Valentine's shirts from Bucky's on the way there. Um, so we could wear them on Valentine's Day, because that's where we were on our road trip. And then on the way back, we the got Mardi Gras. Nope we did we did not get <laughs> we did not get the Mardi Gras ones. I wasn't as big of a fan of those. We got St. Patty's Day ones, 
<laughs> and we happened to both be at a show in Lakeland called OSQE. And so normally when I go to shows, I wear SME stuff, but she's like, can we wear the St. Patty shirts? And I'm like, okay, we'll wear them. So we both matched in our St. Patty's Day ones. But the Valentine's Day ones were cute. It says the back. Hey. It says the the path the path to my heart is paved in beaver nuggets. <laughs> you know, like it's so freaking cute. If you don't know what a beaver nugget is, you have to get them. I got the caramel ones, and they weren't what I expected. Yeah, but I did like them. My favorite are the dark chocolate covered ones, which are in like small chocolate. packs. And then they have these white cheddar ones. They taste like the white cheddar popcorn, but in beaver nugget form. I wish I would have got those. A uh, freaking addicting. I went through a pack in a day driving. <laughs> Not good. Cutting back from that pack a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Is it, is it, I thought you. they had a shirt and it was like the Bucky's tour or something like a concert shirt but it had all their locations on the back oh my gosh i saw that one too and i'm like okay i kind of want it but i know they're building one more in florida i think so i was like okay maybe i'll wait until after they do that one and i've then been I'll to three different ones now have you yeah florida and two in texas <laughs> which florida one did you go to because we have two i don't know <laughs> somewhere it's probably it was on the way to florida sme I i'm not sure which one we stopped at oh that's interesting i don't know which one that would be i don't know <laughs> i could maybe tell you <laughs> this conversation somehow ended up on gas stations um <laughs> you started it <laughs> i know i did i apologize um but yeah so okay we talked about your classes um yeah we've got new orleans in two weeks Today is the last day to book your hotel. We'll let you still come, but I can't guarantee you a discounted room pass today. Um, so if you are on the fence, please just hop on and do it. Oh, um, I have another chicken noodle soup. But don't eat the crackers. They might be stale. I think we went to the one that's further north. Oh, uh, the St. Augustine Jacksonville one? Yeah. He's St. Augustine. So to get down there, we basically take like a uh, seventy-seven to ninety-five. Oh yeah. So yes. there's two, there's two on ninety-five. I thought you would have taken seventy-five, but ninety-five makes sense, I guess. No, because seventy-five. No, so I live like I can get on seventy-seven in like two minutes. Oh. Yeah. So it's just whoop. straight down. The, the Gaylord in Florida is exactly 1,000 miles from my house. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a fun fact. <laughs> yeah. We put it in the GPS and I was like, well, I mean, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that's a long freaking drive, though. Texas was further. <laughs> yeah. Texas. So Florida. Is a great highway shot. Uh, Florida is, but Texas, we wound up, well, okay, I, I wasn't listening to the GPS and I took like a different route on the way to Texas mm -hmm. and that's where the, would you rather poop your pants or run out of gas came up. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> we wound up in like a, a weird path, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, but it was like, Texas is like an 18 hour drive versus like 14 and a half for Florida. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Still but we were able to stay at Lauren's like for our halfway point. So that was cool. That's a halfway point. Cheese and rice. <laughs> yeah. Nine hours to Lauren and then 10 to Texas. Tennessee is a halfway. No. Halfway between Tennessee and Atlanta. So somewhere in there, like Chattanooga area is halfway to get up to St. Louis, which I like I had to map that out. Oh. For me. Yeah. I like looking at the map and figuring out things like that. I do not. It stresses me out. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Um, Nola, the cruise. We talked about the cruise a bunch. If you're in the cruise group, the May one sold out, just FYI, everybody. Um, but if you're in the cruise group, please pay attention. There's a lot of information that's been coming out. Um we announced the cruise groups. Uh, oh, and if you're doing your fish extender, make sure you fill that out, that form out. 
because that is getting finalized um, on Sunday. You, you making that for us, Alex? What? I said, Alex, are you making that for us? No, I haven't tasked poor Alex with the cruise stuff yet. No, I'm asking Alex if Alex is oh. making it for our room. Oh, your fish extender <laughs> stuff. Well, Alex was so sweet and already made your fish extender holder. They oh. Did, they did it Um, we when you were um gone traveling yeah on vacation um uh, alex joined me on my live the, the live so long oh okay <laughs> and they're like well i guess i'm making it now for our room yep, alex already made I didn't it even know. i was just being a brat <laughs> there's there, there's um there is a comment on whether or not you would like the colors <laughs> is it purple <laughs> <laughs> no comment <laughs> <laughs> just watch just go look at the snippet of the live towards the end you'll see what it looks like <laughs> that's funny i don't it's i don't i don't actually I don't really care. Do, though. um <laughs> nashville is four to five hours from st louis okay yeah i was looking nashville is about mm, if i don't stop a ton of times and i know what the heck i'm doing um it's like a 10 hour drive it's like seven for me, I think. That's not bad. No. I'm just trying to decide if I'm bringing my fun car or my SUV. <laughs> Alex said I've made it. What do you think color it is? <laughs> um, Gaylor Palms is 2,600 miles for Alex. That's nuts. I lied. It's almost an eight-hour drive. Oh, okay. Still not that's horrible. Terrible. That's like that's a that's an easy day's drive because even with yeah. like a lunch stop. Yeah. Well, because when I drove to St. Louis, it's like technically like eight and a half hours. Yeah. Plus stops. Okay. Um. Oh, Ashley got their tennis me ticket. Congrats! Oh yeah, I saw that. It's gonna be so fun. Fun times. I'm excited. Tennessee is shaping up to be a wee bit bigger than Texas. So if anybody mm -hmm. came to Texas, but not, um, it, but um, I don't know. It's still smaller than Florida. Obviously, it's a first time show, but it's is big. It's bigger. Texas was actually bigger than I expected it to be. Really? Well, I. So I've only I had only been to Florida one time. Okay. Fair. Because Bless Florida was my first me. Yeah. And I knew, like, going in that that was, like, the big thing. And then I expected Texas to just be, like... Tiny. Yeah. But it it was more than I expected. So, yeah, if Tennessee is going to be even bigger, I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's going to be fine. <laughs> um, yeah. I, ten or Texas was less than... Less than half, more than less than half of Florida. Like but Florida. for your first time, yeah, I think Tennessee too, because everyone up my way yeah. were like, "Oh, it's closer." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to pick new locations where more people can go right. and it's affordable for them, like to be able to drive if they need to, or because some people can't fly or or, or yeah. Yeah. um. It's hard yeah. too when you want to bring a bunch of stuff. You know you're gonna shop and have more stuff to bring home. So much more. So many people bring an empty suitcase, like a big one, which <laughs> blows my mind. But I understand. Yeah, I've gone to shows where I was like, I don't even really like want to shop, and then I leave with like a small suitcase. I'm like, I don't know how this happened. Well, we were leaving Texas, and Alex is like, I got to figure out how to pack all this down, and I'm just gonna pay to take a box, and I'm like. I was like, how much is it going to cost you? I was like, please let me just drive that back to Ohio and ship it to you. <laughs> it will be cheaper. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It was like a little bit more than I expected, but it was still way less. <laughs> yeah. Alex gave a breakdown. They're 2,100 miles from Opryland, but Gaylord Pacific that they're building out in California, mm -hmm. it's only 9.9 .9 miles away. We can just stay at Alex's place. Right. Cause I can't, I can't, I can't drive to California. <laughs> I I'm not even we're not even gonna do it. We're gonna hire a logistics company to take yeah. all 
stuff because I'm like, I'm not doing it. I, just, I have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> that's too far. That's like a three plus day drive. Yeah. Getting to Texas was bad enough. Tennessee is so much closer. Yay, Kathy got her. I, I sold Kathy some of my neon leopard cotton lycra. Oh, she got it at her cubby and HQ. Yeah, I took it. I love that she has her own cubby. That's so cute. I had one briefly. <laughs> Yeah, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Josie's like, do you want me to bring your cubby? And I was like, yes. <laughs> yes thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I'm just trying to be a good wine and chat person. Um, <laughs> okay, cruise. Um, then so whatever weekend sold out that is in Illinois, down the street from Lauren Mormino's headquarter. It is Lauren's event. I'm just hosting it for her um that's gonna be super fun industrial sewing time i'm working on the apothecary kits i'm so oh, excited yeah. um oh i've been to bring it in here i got specially made so whatever weekend like so whatever logoed stuff lauren designed one or two of them like the the logo and then i had um natalia turn it into a fabric and then the other ones um are like uh, the ducky has a floral crown. Oh my gosh. And it meshes my flowers with Lauren's flowers. That's cute. I haven't I, I haven't seen it. Okay, go in the so so whatever weekend folder. Oh <laughs> no, in the graphic folder in there. Yeah, it's in there. It's so cute. I'll so have to look. some of that came in along with the New Orleans fabric. Um mm -hmm. and then we have tennis me. If y'all have Tennessee, Tennessee uh, questions, you can drop them here real quick, but also email support. Classes are open. They're quickly filling up. I know some people are a little upset that they're not getting the classes they want, um, but there is still a ton available. This is why I yeah. put in over 50 hands-on classes at every show that are diverse because we want everybody to have the ability to go and learn something, whether it's something you – didn't think that maybe you would want to give it a try. I know a lot of people, that's like the whole point of SME too. I guess started it because I don't believe there's a person who makes only one thing. Like look at you, you make cat toys <laughs> then tumblers then bags. So um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Judy's comment threw me off. She said, how excited are you to see me? At Tennessee? <laughs> I'm very excited to see you, Judy, but I also live down the street from you, so I can see you. <laughs> um, I thought we had 70 classes, but I guess that's technically 69 classes to the public. 70 is if you include the teacher vendor um, paint party. Yeah, a couple are duplicates, but still like insane. A lot, yeah. And then there's still demos to get announced in the meetups and exchanges. So I know some people said they were upset because like they don't want to try something that doesn't sound interesting to them. But I feel like you do have to go into it with like an open mind. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point. And that's why I don't charge for a class seat plus a class kit like all the other <laughs> shows do, because I don't want it to be a cost prohibitive thing. And if you don't want to, that's why there's so many things. Like there's D-Sash Bash, there's a lounge, there's a vendor hall. Like w once you go to it, it makes more sense why it's okay to not want to take a class that day or only take one class. Right. You don't feel like you have to take 10 classes to justify your ticket cost. There's a lot of other things going on. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. I haven't even like the two I've been at, I haven't like actually looked in the D-Sash room yet. <laughs> Are you serious? I've been, I like Florida. I went in. I'm like, okay. I told Lauren I'd help her with whatever, whatever she needs. Like, I knew I was going to help in her class. And then it was like, uh, Lindsay needs help. And then uh, Nicole is going to need help for her next class. So I think I wound up doing helping in six classes and then helping in the booth some too. And I was yeah. like, well, I went from not knowing what I was doing to like, wow, I did a lot. And then <laughs> in Texas, I helped at the booth. I taught my own classes. I helped. I spent a lot of time in the industrial room too. You are answering SME emails during the oh, show. A too. little, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think people realize they're like, oh, I can email and I'll get an answer. I'm like, unfortunately, my entire staff <laughs> the show so yes we'll get to you but maybe not yeah. normal alex and i were talking yesterday about like internet for the cruise <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. And Alex <laughs> was asking me that too. I'm like, well, I'll have my laptop, so it'll be okay. <laughs> we'll be fine. Um, FYI, my entire staff is also on the cruise. So for four <laughs> nights. Yeah. Um, yeah. And hanging out in the lounge, I think, is one of my favorite things. I love walking in there randomly throughout the day. And people, it's so funny on the first day, the newbies like, are, I don't know what it is because there's only like a couple people in there. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden by like Sunday, all day long, there's at least 20, 30 people in there. Um, there's open crocheting time in there now with Kat for a couple hours each day. That'll be fun. Yeah. Like we're trying to make sure there's other, it's not just sewing, it's crafting too, fiber arts. So come like bring your knitting needle, crochet, come cross stitch, come do whatever you like, you like to do. And just know that there's a community and like a safe, fun place for you to do it. Yeah. Like to Texas, I brought a couple of like cut out projects. I'm like, oh, if I get to work on them, cool. If not, I don't. Did you I made half of a Catalina. I, I like made half of this. <laughs> By the way, I wear mine all the time that you made. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wear like it sits in my van too because I'm one of those like I'll put my cards in my pocket and be like no I really need a purse and I just my Catalina's there and I take it with me <laughs> it goes to my shows it's a really good show bag I haven't like, used mine yet it's just been chilling here <laughs> it, it's a it's so cute I love mine and I'm literally like look it's my fabric <laughs> but my employee made it it's so cute <laughs> I did like that one. I got cute pictures of George and um, don't know what. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Louise. Um, if you do open, there is one class that is a structured class for crocheting. Um, it, I would not say like if you've never crocheted before, you should go into that one because it is an animaguri. Um, so it's not meant to teach you like the basics of how to hold a crochet hook and how to follow a pattern and stuff like that. Um, but Kat is really, really good at teaching the basics one-on-one -on -one with people. So go to the, we have it listed on the schedule. Uh, ugh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, go to the schedule and, uh, check it out each day. There is a couple hour slot. She's there a lot. So you could probably just also sit there with her <laughs> during that anyway. Um, but yeah, she'll teach you how to crochet. She'll teach you how to like do a basic chain stitch how to like just get started. Um, and it's a, lot, it's a lot of fun because I saw people who didn't know how to crochet and by the end of the show, they had like a little a little bee by the end or they're so cute. Oh, D rhinestones, that's true. While she's there in the So Magical Lounge. That sounds fun. Yeah, Kat was, I was telling her, I'm like, I can't. My grandma taught me how to crochet. I can do like the very basic stick, uh, but I have a lot of like wrist problems, hand, whatever, like fingertip to shoulder. Um, but she was saying she has some like good hooks that like won't like hurt. And I'm like, I just don't know. The I need to talk to her about it. Really nice. I like them. Yeah. So my, my grandma was teaching me how to do it. She did it a lot um, towards the end of her life because it helped with her arthritis. Because mm -hmm. if she didn't keep her fingers active, like they would like stiffen up to nothing. Yeah. And so she, that's why she taught me because I was one of the few left-handed people in the entire family. Like she's a million grandchildren. I was one of the few lefties. <laughs> oh, Alex said you and um, them helped in seven classes for Florida. I'm assuming that's Florida. E no, Texas. I Alex? think Florida. All of the above. I have no idea what all I helped with in Texas, really. Yeah. <laughs> Alex said, yes, Florida. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So Tennessee, lots of things. Machine rentals will be out very shortly. <laughs> the, um, and to clarify, we now have sergers and basic sewing machines available. So if you wanted to take a clothing-based class and didn't have a serger, you can rent a serger now. I bought a lot of surgeries. So <laughs> please come rent them. <laughs> um, can I make him that bag with a domestic machine? Which bag? The Catalina? If it's a Catalina, I don't know. You can say, you I would say that can. depending on your materials. Yeah. Well, Tammy taught the class and she makes hers on a domestic because she doesn't have an industrial. 
Oh, here, she corrected it. Um, I didn't know that. I feel like the Catalina, though. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to on a domestic but that's not to say you can't yeah i, I also think. use some beefier material on this one yeah the the smee one you made was pretty like yeah this one is <laughs> worse oh crap <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um i can't think we weren't talking about another bag were we i don't think so no, yeah so i mean it's possible i think it was written to be domestic friendly as well but um again it's the materials you use like any pattern can in theory be done on both like you can sew leather on a domestic machine if you properly prepare the materials like you skive it down and things like that use the right needle use the right needle thread um and your machine isn't like a brother 50 dollars machine that's that's all i say i, I don't gotta, even know if i have 50 dollars ones anymore probably not i got a call today <laughs> it was like Hey, and it was a picture of a, a embroidery machine at Walmart. I was like, don't buy your machine from Walmart, but it's the same one. It's just, it's a good brand. I'm like, yes, it's a good brand, but Walmart and Amazon are allowed to sell only certain model machines. They like, go to a, a sewing store, please, and buy it there. You will get the correct brand. It won't be like their knockoffs. <laughs> please just do that for me. Oh, Dina says she makes her Catalina on a domestic. Again, yeah, I think it's the materials you use. Okay. Um, Florida teacher applications have closed. So class announcements will hopefully be very, very beginning of May. Um, but, yeah. Class announcements? That's my goal. One month. Dang. So that means I have to decide what I'm teaching. <laughs> Get on it, Brittany. Let's go. <laughs> Um, yeah, so well, I'm like, do I want to try to teach like a more substantial bag or do I want to like, be like, here's something easy again. So you can learn how to use an industrial. Yeah. It's hard because yeah. I like having a mix of basic classes and intermediate classes. I don't have too many advanced ones because no. even though I get that request a lot, like, why don't you have more advanced classes? That's great. I've done it in the past and nobody signs up for them. Yeah, I, I saw that comment recently, and I've been getting also, it to one. Well, and two, I feel like if it's too complex, you have to make the class time so much longer, and that eat, that's going to cut into how many classes can be offered. Yeah. Oh, Fran said to get the crochet hook that Kat recommends. Yeah, I I, I want to try. But also, I know I have no business trying to pick up another hobby. So <laughs> I will say it's one of the ones I I stopped doing it for years. I picked it back up last year. Um, and it's nice because sometimes when I'm on the airplane, while I will buy the internet and I will work because it's really good working time for me because I'm stuck there. Um, I also sometimes just don't want to. And it's so nice to like just have a movie on and just relax. I made the ugliest ghost ever because <laughs> I was trying a new pattern. Um, and it was just so morphed. But then I made a good one. It was cute. <laughs> yeah. When we flew, I watched like an episode of Supernatural each way. Mm -hmm. I just, the headphones, like, it gives me, a, I, I just don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's rough. You have to be like prepared to be comfortable. Yeah. Try to be. Um, Matt and Brittany. Um, I love Lauren's recommendation to cut your own kit with a pattern you want to make ready. Yes. Highly suggest if you're doing open sewing time and the industrials, bring something like pre-cut and ready to go. I will say this though, like depending on which one you sign up for, if you're picking like a Saturday or Sunday, you can buy your materials in the vendor hall and the hardware. You could probably buy everything you needed for a pattern. And then go cut it in the So Magical Lounge. Um, Will or, there maybe be a heat press there? In the lounge? Interfacing. No. No? No, I won't bring a heat press. Why not, Kayla? <laughs> Have you tried to carry a heat press lately? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, uh, are... Yeah, I... I worked for like another company for like 
I did an event for them at an ice skating rink, like a figure skating event thing. Okay. And I had to take their heat press and my heat press. Oh. And then, like, after they were on the whole day, I didn't wait long enough for it to cool down. <laughs> I had to carry it out to the car. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my heat press that I use primarily for the swag booth, I mean, that's a two-man lift. Yeah. It's so long, too. There's, It's impossible for one person to pick it up. I guess I didn't even think about yours not being, like, a basic one. No, I do have a basic one. I do have, like, a 12 by 12, like, Amazon one. Um, that I use for interfacing. So like when we do class kits and stuff and we have to interface, that's what we do it on. Oh, I guess I could find that, but like, I know it's, but I just thought about that. I'm like, well, I mean, I guess there is irons, but it's just not the same. It's not the same. Like once it's like, once you, once you do it on a heat press, you can't go back to doing it with an iron. Yeah. It's, Cause it's not the same. I Maybe upgraded to a 16 by 20 heat press last year too. Yeah. And it's pink. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Did you see somebody posted their singer featherweight, but it was like really pretty purple. I know you don't like purple, but who I don't that? think I saw it. I saw like some real cute ones that you and Lauren saw in Washington. I know like, I don't even get to sell my industrial or my other machines enough. I'm like, I'm contemplating buying a featherweight that if you don't constantly use it, it like seizes up all the uh, gears and stuff. I said, okay, that alone convinced me not to spend my money on it. But yeah. Yeah. I saw your little like tidy up video and the way your industrial was covered is basically what my embroidery machine looks like yeah. all the time. My embroidery machine's on the floor. <laughs> as is my serger but my industrials it's on it's so table so it's fine yeah um, i've got like oh, um, yes. my domestic my serger my cover stitch that i haven't um used yet and my embroidery machine and i had to slide them all down because i got so dark <laughs> i heard about that i'm like yeah. oh, <laughs> amazing <laughs> yeah i know um, lauren and i were like she's like i just I'm so excited that you're taking it and like get it out of here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I used it yesterday um, during my live to do my binding on my math pack, but the tension's like really out of whack. I gotta fix it. But oh. I know how to use it though, so that's good. I missed that live. I don't know what I was doing. How could you? I know, right? I try. <laughs> I need more warning because it's great. Because then I'll be like, all right, I'm going to save this work for that because then it's really good body doubling. Yeah. And so I have so many people on, like, because you subscribe to a YouTube channel, but then you can mark them to get notifications. So but like, it doesn't always work. It doesn't. And plus, I get 50 notifications every 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, whatever. Um, I'll start putting it in our chat. Okay. If then. I remember. <laughs> hey, love, going live. But yeah. Alex does the same thing and gets on and body doubles. Yeah. I bet Alex is is working right now or hopefully resting. Um, <laughs> but I know they like the body double too during that. Yeah. Okay. I th I think I'm like, I'm good. So you said that the So Magical announcement information thingy was made. When is that dropping? Um, in like two weeks, I hope. We have to hold out for the information. Yeah, I have to finish. I have two more teachers to finalize, I think. Mm -hmm. So once I get those final, I really want the teachers to be, oh, Alex is resting. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I really want the teachers to be finalized before I announce it because yeah. it, it adds to the understanding of what we will be doing it is a really different and unique event i i don't know i like to pride myself on doing something different that hasn't been done before and i'm i, I don't know somebody could tell me like no gala this has been done um but it's <laughs> it's a bag making event that's three parts that's industrial domestic and no so so I mean, it's already been announced for sure who's coming. Um, so Lauren is teaching, Lauren Mormino is teaching on the industrials. Um, I believe there's potentially one more industrial teacher, but we're confirming that's one of the ones on um, TBD. And then <clears throat> the two teachers for sure confirmed for 
the domestic room are Jess from So Many Creations and Nicole from Sonar. Oh, yeah. Coincidentally, they're both like primo cork um, <laughs> makers or cr- people who users, use creators. Users. Whatever. Yeah. So it's not just specifically bags. Um, so those three are working on what patterns they're going to teach. And those are confirmed. I have one more in the no so room that is a TBD. So, um, but it will be really cool um, if they say yes. I'm really hoping so because they'll be. I know more- what Lauren wants to teach and I'm, I'm excited for it. I think Lauren's class is going to be really good. Yeah. You know, Jess and Nicole are still toying with it because I was like, here, you have more time than normal. And right. they're like, oh, what do I do with myself? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it'll be like how we do the cruise and the retreats. You'll pay one cost and everything will be included. The machines, the thread, the materials prepped and cut for you, um, unless that's going to be part of the class. Um, certain amount of food will be included. Your room is on your own, but we'll have we have discounted um, rates. And the rates I got for St. Louis is amazing. What's wrong? George is up on us. Oh, like all of a sudden I saw. Oh, he, he was like thinking about jumping down. So I was just watching. He was like waiting. Okay, do I need a cat? <laughs> um, There's always a cat moving around. <laughs> but you'll be there. Mm-hmm. And you'll be working as mm-hmm. well, Alex. So that'll be really fun. It's just going to be. Oh, and we're going to do a pop-up shop. Ooh. Yeah. On one of the nights, we'll do a pop-up shop because the teachers all have their own businesses. And then some of the attendees, I know, will have that. So we'll have like a table set up. It'll be dedicated shopping time with drinks, of course. Um, maybe desserts and drinks because I know not everybody drinks, but not everybody likes dessert. So <laughs> it's fine. I will. I will fuel everybody's addictions to food. Um I think you all crossed so wrong. I'm going to backtrack on that one. I will help. Any addiction. No, not any of them. No, sorry. I need 10 cats there, Kayla. That would be so fun. Can we have like a um, a stress relief room where it's like a cat cafe? Listen, I would take my cats places if I didn't have to listen to them meow the entire trip. <laughs> Donut doesn't like riding in the car. <laughs> yeah, I would Zeus, but I feel like he scares some people because he's so big. But he is pretty he's big. big. He's just a little baby. <laughs> I a- like big dogs. I little dogs terrify me. I don't like little dogs, except for like a couple of my friends' tiny dogs. But like my neighbor across the street has Chihuahuas, and when we moved in, he's like, "Oh, if." I can never remember his name. Like, if he ever comes over, just pick him up and bring him home. No. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, not, I'm not touching him. <laughs> oh, no. Fair point. I did have dessert flavored drinks as well for, <laughs> for the teacher vendor staff appreciation um, and drink flavored desserts. I haven't done that yet. But I bet you all I have to do is talk to the hotel and be like, this is what they want. <laughs> These chefs come up with some amazing things, and the bartenders are so good. Okay, was I missing anything else? I don't so know. Cool. Smash number two in December has room still. You're going to test out first one, right? Before you, decide. I can't. Oh, you go can't. To December. Yeah. What are you doing in December? Um, one maybe two shows. <laughs> is it Meow Fest? No, Meow Fest is in July. Oh. Um. My, like, main holiday event is the weekend that, like, it's, like, December 9th through 11th. And then there's Galaxy Con in Columbus the first weekend of December that I'm, like, debating. I heard that one's really good, though. I don't think it's too big, but I heard it's really good. So this will only be the second year for in Columbus, and I kind of heard not the greatest stuff from like a vendor aspect from last year mm. but as far as like an attendee i heard it was amazing and then um they've been announcing the like um celebrities and i'm kind of like i will just try it and see so <laughs> i mean it's not it's not bad to try it if it's within a reasonable distance yeah 
Um, and Columbus is like two hours away, so I'll have to get a hotel. But um, depending, like my boyfriend has a ton of hotel points, but I don't know if I'm using them up for other stuff yet. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I applied for MegaCon for next year mm-hmm. and myself. <laughs> They're like, wait, what are you what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I have all this cool equipment. So I'll just do a swag booth, but I'll make it fandom and some sewing stuff. There's so many people that came up to Kat's booth and were like, oh, like I'm not gonna buy anything, but I'm a crocheter and like I just appreciate this. And so we just struck up conversations with crafters and sewists. So I'm like, I literally could just put sewing themed things, sewing themed things there, and I feel like it would drum up enough. So I'll have a little bit of both. Plus, I have a couple people who've been trying to get in who like haven't had any luck. So I was like, well, you can just like slide in. I I applied for a 10 by 30, which is insane. Oh my gosh. Well, I need at least a 10 by 20 with the printer and the heat press. Yeah. Like you can't fit that in a 10 by 10. That but you can't fit a heat press in a 10 by 10 and not get burnt. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so I like started getting 10 by 10s last year. Um, but I'm trying out six by twelve this year because it's like a third two-thirds of the price or something okay yeah but i mean mine's a little different so yeah obviously <laughs> i feel like that's is that like in an artist alley versus like the retail side Ooh. that's how okay. it's at MegaCon. so at my local comic con like in my city it's a 10 by 10 okay. um and that's for like artists and vendors and then oh. um I do shows, it's like called Odd Mall is like what their name is. And then they have multiple events and they have like three by eight, which basically you get like a table with some space. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not enough for me. Uh, then they have, there's another size after that. And then there's the six by 12 and the 10 by 10. Yeah. But six by twelves usually end up on like an end cap, so it's kind of perfect. So they a megacon. There was one person. I'm blanking on her business name, and I feel terrible. But she, I I've seen her at so many shows, and I co say her every time. She has so much like Zorel and Lauren and different people's pa- like fabric, and then she does such a good job. She had this milk carton pattern that I had never seen before, and it was so freaking cute. They are cute. It looks so difficult to make. I'm like, I would never try it, but it was really pretty. Um, And some girl even walked by and she had a cereal themed backpack that was handmade. I'm like, you need the milk carton now. Um, (laughs) That would be amazing. She managed it. So in Artist Alley, it's all tables. So you can get multiple tables and it's like a six by five or a 12 by five, essentially. She managed to make it look like a 10 by 10 booth in this one table setup. She had like, she could barely move inside this little space and i was just i was impressed but yeah i'm planning on getting like grid wall so that i can just like hang everything if i need to lauren had sent me the link for the place she gets hers and it's like in st louis and they have pink and not just pink they have like my pink your pink yeah so like the imperium pink yeah that's impressive. So now you have to get them. Yeah, I was going to pick it up last time I was there. And I was like, I just I don't have it in me to go the other direction before I go home. Mm, yeah, We had to like make it home before gymnastics. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> That's, it was fine. It's fine. Um, okay. I don't have anything else to you. I, I don't think so. We managed to keep a teacher spotlight going for almost two hours. That's impressive. That's a record. <laughs> That's a record, Brittany. All right. <laughs> I'm here for it. Um, right. I was just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not complaining. That's freaking awesome. Um, all right. Well, if anybody has questions, feel free to email the support at So Magical Expo email because um, Brittany will answer it for you. And yeah, I got a couple of emails back about classes and I think they thought I was the teacher. And then they're like, I got to email support so they can fix it. I was like, no, 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 that's me. I am support. I am here to help you. But I'm going to do it. I'm here to support you. <laughs> um, yeah, but I hope everybody has a great weekend. And uh, we'll, we'll see y'all here soon. It's one of the 50 events we're having in the next two months. <laughs> Bye, everybody.